Hiya! Welcome back to Real Life, the game with shitty graphics and even shittier gameplay. In our last play session, we were looking at the computer that I strapped to a wall and who was screaming. Not screaming anymore, but I gave it something new. A dick! My computer now has a dick. And look at that mighty stream. Now, if you're wondering uh, why the discharge water is slightly yellow, that's because of the town water. My town, town that I live in, has slightly yellow water. Mmm, so good. And the computer now has a dick because I have a once through water cool system attached to it. And here's the great big radiator. The radiator is actually not doing much. If we go up here and I zoom in, that is the input line going into the coils going out to a pressure reducing valve and right now I think if we can see it got about 5 psi or so in there I've got really shaky hands so it's hard to keep stable but I can turn that up if I can't get up there and shoot at the same time and you can see I have raised the pressure significantly, which is now allowing a lot more water through this main trunk line here, which goes up on top of the computer, down around into the back. I can't actually tell if this is in focus because I'm farsighted and the screen is way too close to my face. And this goes in here to a the manifold, the manifold's only got one thing on it right now, and then that goes up to this water block, and this water block has a little bit of pipe dope contamination. That comes back out, then up around, back up here, and then back to the water, to the sink. I'm not going to show you the cut-in underneath because I live in an apartment in the middle of nowhere and I have uh, corporate slumlord owners. That's not why the water's yellow. The water's yellow because no one pays their taxes. Fuck you people who don't pay their taxes. And we're basically going off of well water that's not very clean. Basically, water comes into the system through the tap, never mind my dishes, comes in through the, the system at about 10 to 20 degrees Celsius and then leaves at whatever temperature I have it set at. If I have that flow rate set down real low, the water can get as warm as 70 degrees Celsius. If I have it set real high, it can be as low as 20 degrees Celsius. So I can basically overclock my computer's brains out. I can have my flow to less than a trickle and be at about 70 C here. I have a placid plastic duck simulator in the background just for something to keep my CPU occupied. And we're at 70 degrees right now. Now I'm going to turn it up and we'll see the pressure on the dial raise. We'll see the temperature on the CPU plummet drastically. Now I think we're about at 50% of the throughput that domestic water supply is capable of putting out, and the CPU temperature is continuing to plummet. The green line on the bottom there is the ambient temperature in the apartment, which is about 32 degrees. The blue line is the temperature sensor on the CPU, which waggles back and forth. I actually think that there's a Pelche cooler built into the CPU, I think because sometimes that temperature goes crazy. Sometimes it's like 12 degrees when it's like 30 degrees in the apartment. And the pink line is the CPU temperature sensor on the motherboard. And it's continuing to fall. This is the previous footage of the, the pressure and the flow that we had before. And it's about this now. But I can take that homemade foot valve off, which is basically just a coupling and a piece of plastic shoved in it so that the hole will be smaller. And I can increase the flow rate even more. And we will see that the pressure in the pressure reducing valve 
will drop off at the same time that we pull that coupling off. The discharge water also turned into pea yellow because whatever the sediment is supposed to be got caught up in the, the coils or inside the, uh, the actual water cool system. But it's continuing to drop like a rock. And this is why I say that there's some sort of Pelche or something inside the CPU itself. Because the CPU's temperature sensor is now saying that it's below the ambient temperature, which is like 32 degrees or something like that. But the motherboard's temperature reading is like 42 or 45 or something like that. And we're not even at full power yet. Now we're at full power. That's 60 PSI through a half inch main into a half inch nylon reinforced plastic hose through a one inch heating cooling coil through the PRV that should be almost wide open, then through a quarter inch flexible, I think this is a polyurethane line, it might be some other plastic, who the fuck cares? So that 60 PSI that you have on that pressure reducing valve is just the pressure, the back pressure that is coming from the reduction from the half inch to quarter inch line that we've seen in that manifold inside the computer. And we've stabilized at about 40 degrees Celsius. The coil has two uses. The first use is if the water main is too cold, if it's like 10 degrees Celsius or, or even lower because it's in the winter, you want to drive off as much as that chill as possible or it's going to start condensing water vapor in the air inside the computer, or at least it might. So the coil will bring the temperature up to ambient or close to ambient. But the second thing that it does is that in full operation, it works sort of like a poor man's air conditioner because it does have water flowing through it that is like 10 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius. It's summer now, so it's probably more like 20 degrees Celsius, and that will bring down the ambient temperature of the apartment as well. We see a little bit of an increase here, and that's because I shut off my air conditioner to be able to record audio, because the air conditioner is like three feet from me. So we're at about a 50% load on the CPU. This is an older CPU and we're stable at this below 40 degrees Celsius. Ironically, the temperature that the CPU's sensor is reporting is probably more accurate to the water temperature. It's saying that it's closer to about 20 degrees Celsius. That's probably the temperature of the water. It feels like it's 20 degrees Celsius, but I don't have a liquid sensor. All I have is an infrared sensor. So let's reset our flow rate to something a little more realistic. Somewhere we're not, where we're not going to be paying a $50 to $100 water bill. Something closer to like a dollar to five dollars more a month water bill. I also put the coupling with the pinhole reducer in it, which is important because you don't want the flow rate to be very high because then the water doesn't spend very long in the system picking up thermal energy. This should equalize about here at about 50 degrees Celsius on the pink line. The blue line again is probably more representative of the temperature of the water actually coming out of the water cooling systems, probably about 30 degrees coming out of the dick. But not everything is sunshine and lollipops. Due to the shittiness of the domestic water supply and the fact that the CPU heats the water up between 40 and 70 degrees Celsius, 
bacteria rose in the hose, meaning my computer has a urinary tract infection. Which is why it was screaming before. You ever have one of those? Ah! Clink.